What's going on YouTube? So while the Escalade gets all the headlines these days, it's easy to forget that Cadillac actually has another three row luxury SUV in its lineup, and that's this XT6. Now in just its second model year, it is already getting some updates, including a new base trim level, which makes it more affordable than ever. So is the XT6 a half price Cadillac Escalade? Let's go ahead and find out. Now you heard me mention at the beginning that there's a new trim level, so let's start there. Uh, Cadillac has added a luxury trim level like many of the other Cadillac products, so you now have that, premium luxury, and then the sport model. What we have with us today is the premium luxury. So this has the upscale design, so you notice that signature Cadillac grille with the chrome surrounds as well as the chrome accents in the middle. The luxury has the same look, and if you choose the sport, this will be blacked out. Now, moving over here to your headlights, uh, this has a very similar look to the Escalade, actually. So you have a full LED arrangement with a kind of narrow uh, unit up here at the top, and then coming down, you have your LED daytime running light and turn signal indicator. Next up, we have the wheels. Uh, the new luxury trim, that's gonna come with an 18-inch alloy. The other two will come with 20-inch alloys, and for 2021, the sports 20-inch alloys have a different design. As we come up, you have your Cadillac emblem, and then the mirrors will be fully loaded no matter which trim level you choose. So they will be heated, power folding, auto dimming, and you have blind spot monitoring. Now in order to keep that nice and luxurious look, we do have chrome trim around all the window surrounds and door handle. And then walking around to the rear design itself, this is gonna be a very good looking luxury three row. Uh, now, whether you like this more than something like an Audi Q7, that's gonna be up to you, but I think it actually looks really good. Now, breaking down the individual design elements, uh, you're gonna have full LED taillights. This is the signature Cadillac design where they're vertical and they are fully LED, including the reverse light. We also have this chrome uh, accent going through the middle. And then if we drop down to the bottom, we have another chrome accent with dual integrated trapezoidal exhaust outlets. Now the X-T6 is going to throw in most of your safety systems as standard equipment, not all of them though. So you're going to have Ford Emergency Braking and Pedestrian Detection, Auto High Beam Headlamps, and Lane Keeping Assist standard. And if you want to get Adaptive Cruise Control, that's going to be included in the Driver's Assistance Package. That's also going to throw in Rear Auto Braking. Well guys, if you haven't taken a hot second to hit that subscribe button down below, please do that. It really helps us out. It doesn't cost you a thing, so what are you losing? Please do that. But now let's go ahead and check out the interior of the X-T6 before we take it out in a spin and talk about the pricing. So on the X-T6, of course, you do have a standard smart entry system with the typical Cadillac key fob and standard remote start. And then to get inside the vehicle itself, there's not a sensor behind the handle, so just press the silver button. All right, so taking a look inside of this cabin, of course, this was just all new last year. So you're not gonna notice any major changes compared to that last year's model. Now, of course, the first thing to do on the inside of the cabin is talk about your different interior color and material options, of which there are plenty of choices. So the premium luxury and the sport trim levels will come standard with leather. And if you choose the platinum package on either of those, that's where you'll get semi and lint leather. And as far as your color options, each is gonna have some type of different variety. As far as this premium luxury, you have the choice between jet black, cirrus, or dark auburn choices. And those each will come with different kinds of wood. Now turning over here to your door trim, of course you will find leather across the armrest as well as above it. We have some gloss wood trim through here. It is soft touch along the top with a stitching detail. And we have metal speaker grills. Down below that, you'll find the standard two-person memory seating. And as far as your windows, they're one touch auto up and down for the driver and passenger, just auto down for the back windows.
Moving to the seats, these are eight-way power adjusting with two-way lumbar. And then like I was already mentioning, we do have the standard real leather seating, which does have a nice attractive design. Now, of course, like I already said, it was just redesigned last year, so you're going to find these same materials on board. So across our upper dash, this is going to be finished in a soft touch plastic with a double stitching detail all through here. I will point out if you choose the platinum package, that's actually going to cover the entire upper dashboard as well as the upper door trims with leather. Now as we move down, you have a large piece of this gloss wood. We have more soft touch materials, more stitching details as we move down, including down here along the console. And everything in here does fit together well. Now start it up, put your foot on the brake, and press the standard button. So after startup, uh, what you'll see on this more affordably priced XT6 is the standard gauge setup. It's got a 4.2 inch multifunction display right through there, and then you have a separate speed readout at the top. Um, if you choose the enhanced visibility package, that's going to throw in a 8 inch reconfigurable gauge cluster, um, and it would also throw in a head up display. Now coming back to the steering wheel, we do have electric power assisted steering and a nice leather up steering wheel with wood built into it. Cadillac does nicely include power adjustment across all of the models as well as steering wheel heating. But this is a large three row luxury crossover after all, so let's go ahead and check the storage. So I'll start out under our center console here. Taking a look, we have a little tray that we can toss off to the side. And this is a, a nice size center console. Uh, good felt lining in it as well, and you also find some USB connections. Let's grab out our coupons here. Looks like they're gonna fit no problem whatsoever. Now up in front of that, you'll notice this little slit. This is actually your wireless phone charging pad. Your phone just kind of slides down in there. I like that because it uh, is a good use of space. We've got our two cup holders hiding out underneath of this piece. We have another area to stick something else. And then this actually has a center pass-through as well. So you have all of this space you can fill up with something and you have a 12 volt outlet down there. But overall, definitely a pretty impressive amount of space here on the X-T6. All right, now checking out the shifter. This is Cadillac's typical electronic style shifter. So you just press the button on the side, pull back to D for drive, pull back again if you want to turn on manual mode. And we do have paddle shifters on board. For reverse, you'll just push up to the front. And when you do, you will be greeted with a standard backup camera. We do have parking sensors as well as active trajectory. Um, but if you want the 360 degree camera system, that's going to require that enhanced visibility package I mentioned earlier. And then for park, just press the P right on the top. Now you do have an electronic parking brake, and then right behind it you have your control knob for the Cadillac Q system, as well as your volume knob. So on board with this specific model, we have the optional 14 speaker Bose performance sound system. So let's go ahead and give that a sample. really nice sounding sound system. I particularly like uh, how balanced everything sounds um, and I really love the detailed metal speaker grills. Okay so next up let's check out our climate controls. So what we have on board is a standard three zone automatic climate setup. You have these metal toggles here to adjust your temperature up and down and your fan speeds and then you have some uh, controls here. These look touch capacitive but they are actually uh, you know, pressure sensitive like a normal button. Off to the side here, of course you have standard three-stage heated seats as you'd expect. We also have the optional three-stage seat ventilation. Okay, and now that brings us to one of our new additions for 2021. 
and that is the fact that we now have wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. So I'll hold my phone up there uh, like I always do to prove that is it is indeed running wirelessly. Like I said, that is new this year and uh, the performance is exactly the same as what it was when it was wired. So I'm definitely happy to see this addition. Now, otherwise, the Cadillac Q system is the same as uh, it was last year, as well as in other Cadillac products. Um, we have the optional navigation system built into this, this package with the uh, audio system. And also, if you have a compatible device, you can bump this to pair via NFC. Now jumping on up here, we do have a frameless auto dimming mirror. Uh, you can get the special rear camera mirror as an option on this model, but we don't have it. You will always have the Homelink Universal remotes, however, right there. And then something else you also will always have is this large panoramic sunroof. Alrighty, so I'm sitting in the XT6's second row seats, and I'm happy to say this is a very nice place to spend time. Um, now, as far as the legroom figures are concerned, you're going to have 39 inches of both leg and headroom, actually the exact same figures. And behind your seating position, I have, I would say, probably um, three or four inches of rear legroom, and my feet can slide up underneath the seat, and that is larger than the Audi Q7. Now, as far as the features are concerned, there are going to be quite a few of them, even though this isn't like a fully loaded X-T6. We do have our own climate controls here in the center. We also have three-stage heated rear seats. That's going to be included in the comfort package uh, that this model has. And then dropping down, we have a USB Type-C, a smart charging USB. And then if we pull this out, we have some storage in the back, as well as two cup holders with a nice stainless steel uh, accent in the bottom. And then your vents are going to be here on the ceiling and you have some LED lighting as well. Uh, you're probably also noticing that we have the captain's chairs on this model and that's an $800 option. Let's go ahead and check out the XT6's third row. So in order to get back here, you just locate this little handle right here in the top, pull it, that will lift it forward and snap it out of place and allow it to slide forward. Now getting into the third row itself is pretty easy. And as far as the space is concerned back here, you're going to have 29 inches of rear legroom, which is right on par with that of something like the Audi Q7, as well as the Acura MDX. And, you know, as far as the space, this seat is slid all the way back. And I have, I don't really have any additional legroom, but it's not too cramped or anything. And my feet can slide up underneath the seat. The thigh support is what I would call pretty much okay. And then as far as uh, the features, we have a cup holder here on the left side, as well as a USB Type-C and vents up top. Now walking up to the tailgate, Cadillac is nice enough to include a hands-free power one standard across the board, and you also have that nice Cadillac projection on the bottom as well. So just wave your foot under the bumper to open up. And once it opens up, you're going to have 13 cubic feet of space behind the third row seats. That expands to 43 cubic feet, and as a maximum you have 78 cubic feet of space. That's actually going to put it ahead of like something like the Audi Q7. Um, so that's a pretty good space benefit. As far as how they finished it, we do have, we have a lot of junk in here. So I'm going to try and lift the floor up and see what we have under there. Um, you have actually quite a bit of additional storage behind the third row seats. And then off to the right side, we do have our buttons for the standard power folding third row. And you can also fold the second row from here as well. Here at your passenger seat, you do have quite a few ways of power adjustment. This may be the same as the driver, I'm not exactly sure, but it is a lot of different adjustments. And then opening up the glove box, Cadillac, you get an A+, 100% for me on this glove box. It's really nicely felt lined, has LED illumination, and as far as the coupons, you have three rows of people to feed, so you're going to need a lot of coupons. Our big stack fits in there just fine. Now up top, we do have a sun visor with gently fading in LED lights, a mirror, and we can also detach and extend. Just like that, we're up to 60 miles per hour. So 
So this is the premium luxury trim level, as you know, and that comes with the 3.6 liter V6 engine. So that's going to be making 310 horsepower, 271 pound-feet of torque. So those are really good power numbers. <laughs> Camera's falling on my head, um, but yeah, pretty good power numbers. Yeah, and you know, upon our first acceleration there, I think it feels very peppy, especially for a three row. I think it's, you know, maybe not, the power figure is maybe not as much as like an Audi Q7 or some of the German competition, but it really feels fine for sure. Yeah, and let's talk about the new motor because that's an important part of this, uh, the new two liter turbo four cylinder engine that's going to be on the luxury trim level. That's one of your big differences between the premium luxury and the luxury trim level. Yeah, and that's going to have 237 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque, so your numbers are quite a bit uh, lower on that model, but we have driven that in the X-T5, and we really didn't think it was that bad at all. Let's go ahead and talk about the transmission. Um, we've got a 9-speed automatic transmission on board really nice and smooth transmission. I don't see that you would have any complaints about it. Uh, it shifts out tremendously smooth. Um, you know, just kind of a nice transmission for a luxury vehicle that you can just ignore. It blends right into the <laughs> background. But just kind of cruising along here, I do want to talk about just this vehicle's ride quality. Um, now, of course, this is a large luxury three-row uh, SUV, so of course this is going to be a main focus of it, is to ride really smooth. And in typical Cadillac fashion, the ride quality is 100% there. This is a, about as smooth of a ride as you can get in anything in this entire segment. And once we get up to speed here, I will get a sound level reading so we can see how quiet it is going up at speed. Uh, speaking of sound, I like the sound of this engine. Um, it has a, a kind of a nice raspy note to it. And let's go ahead and discuss the air ball and slam dunk for today. So what we're going to say, we're going to start with the air ball and then we can discuss the slam dunk just a little bit later. Um, but our air ball today is going to be some elements of this interior. Um, now it may, it's not personally my style, but I think a little bit, some of it is a little old fashioned, especially compared to that new Escalade and stuff like this screen is a little bit smaller than some of the competition. And then as far as the slam dunk, uh, that's gonna be pricing. So I'll let Mason talk about the pricing, but uh, you know, especially if you're think that I'm talking about the Escalade, yeah. you know, you're going to be getting relatively similar amount of space, but for way, way less money. Yeah. So as far as the luxury trim, that new luxury really brings down the price a lot this year. It's going to start at forty-seven thousand nine ninety-five. Premium luxury fifty-two seven ninety-five. Sport fifty-seven one ninety-five. This one that we're looking at today with the destination charge of $995 is coming in at $56,895. And do keep in mind though that we do have front drive on this model. Now that we're up to 55 miles per hour, let's get a sound level reading. 50 miles per hour. <laughs> so at 50, we're looking at 53.2 decibels. That's a really good reading. Um, now, that is 5 miles an hour or less than what we normally test at, but I would expect it would be like 56 or so decibels, which is still a really good reading. And let's talk about the fuel economy. So for the fuel economy, the V6 front drive, uh, which is what we have here, is going to be rated at 21 combined. All-wheel drive is actually going to have the same combined figure. And then the uh, new 2-liter engine option does actually 2 MPG better combined. So at the end of the day, this or the Escalade, 
I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure if there's that many people that are, you know, making that decision, but you definitely could theoretically make that decision because like I said, you are getting similar amount of space, um, you know, but for a lot less money. And of course they have very different personalities and, uh, you know, atmospheres and whatnot. But if you don't mind, you know, a little less tech and a little less bouginess, so to speak, um, you know, this is still a really good choice. Well guys, thanks for tuning in to this in-depth review of the 2021 Cadillac XT6. We really appreciate you watching this video and if you made it this far, don't lie to me. I know you enjoyed at least a little bit, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps us out and it doesn't cost you anything, so be sure to do that. Anyway, we will catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.